Okay, got my hands all taped up, so um, yeah, I got my frog togs on. I had my uh, <coughs> mask on. I was getting ready to go crazy when I realized my job here wasn't done. I mean, I was going to start on this. I got my vacuum cleaners cleaned out, and I realized there's rivets that I drilled out, and like right there. And I didn't want the sandpaper to get into the metal, so I thought I'd take a punch and run around the hole and and uh, hammer those back in. These rivets are un were under this, which means those rivets are actually from the factory that held this part to this part, because that's a two-part deal. But uh, So we're not gonna take those out, those are gonna stay. Uh, but the one right beside it, I uh, need to knock it out. But I, I just wanted to knock them down so um, the sandpaper wouldn't get into them, because when I put the next one up, it's probably, you know, there's no way I'm gonna hit those same holes. And I'm not sure if I'm using rivets or screws. I know they recommend screws. Um, that being said, I took a punch and knocked them back where they wouldn't get into the sandpaper. However, uh, uh, I don't know if that's where I'm going to stop. I know a lot of them, I could hear them coming out and hitting the bilge back here. And then I got up into here and I could feel it was spongy back here. So I think what's behind this is that... Um, piece of padding that goes down the side and I think when I take it off those will fall out I'm gonna pay very close attention to that when I take those pads off because um, I don't want any of that stuff getting into the bilge pump so whatever uh, is on the other side of this uh, if I can get these out when I take those parts out and, and get all that stuff out before I fire that bilge pump up I'd be money ahead so that all being said uh, I haven't really, I mean, my vacuum cleaner is clean, but I went along and took the razor blade and, uh, oops, I'm going to take this off.